Boss to the gym. I'm in here fucking with Thizzler. Make sure you subscribe below. I mean, shit, we always just kind of like fucking around, like playing, rapping and shit when we was young. It's just, mm, a couple of my friends was taking it serious. Y'all know Black. Called me to the studio. Just around time, he was doing No Shame too, And he had, um, I was supposed to just be coming to listen. And he had, uh, like, come on, man, I want you on this song, I want you on this song. I jumped in the studio, and that's how we got No Shame. I've been kind of rapping kind of serious since. Mainly like underground rappers, rappers people probably don't even know. But if you're from around here, you know, rappers like Mac Blast, rappers like, hmm, maybe it's a couple people, Mo mostly my people, my people I be around, people who I know that they really doing that shit. Like I grew up off high boys and shit. So shit like that, that's, that's what made me want to rap. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy because we really come from like nothing. So it's like we used to be talking about this kind of shit when we was kids. So now that it's happening, it's like, it's, it's like overwhelming sometimes. Because it's people that, it's people are all walks of life in that crowd. Like they might not even really go through that type of shit, but they just, they get through this shit through your music. And it'd be, you know, it's all type of races out there. You know, I ain't think like from the little, little white kids, little, all these different races would be saying the type of shit that I'm rapping about. So it's like an overwhelming feeling. Shit, probably some shit that ain't now, but I, I, I like all my shit. I like all my shit because I know it's real. I know it's authentic. And I know a lot of people be feeling that shit too. A lot of people understand the shit I be talking about. So I really like all my shit. So it ain't, I might got my favorite though. And of course, big nigga, that's like, that's what it, that's how a lot of people start grabbing on to me. First it was a no shame with the big nigga, like, okay, this nigga serious. I knew that, I knew that, I knew that nigga since we was kids. We grew up in the same area, so it's like, we play back. He been knowing me. <laughs> Listen to Big Nigga if you ain't heard it. Third grade. Third. <laughs> Stop playing. That's, shout out to the peso, shout out Disney. Hey, that's the truth though. That's what he I, I knew him, his whole family from third grade, because him and his family always been in the area, and I always been in the area too. So, you know, we went to Garfield together. We played baseball together, camping together, all that type of shit. So it's not nothing that happened last night. This is something that been going on 10 plus years, more than 10, so shit. That's just what it is. Oh uh, man, it's just a bunch of young dudes all together rapping, talking shit. Everybody loving us. I mean, shit. Playrunners is consistent, like me, Black. You got Jizzle down the middle, you got Prada. You know, that's that's really us. That's really us as far as the rap scene go. So you know, you it, it's deeper than just the rappers though. Like you got people that's you got people that's just play the simply play the play the background. So it's deeper than what y'all might see. It's a lot of people running around, running around, running plays. Dogs, all dogs, are all different kind of walks of life. And that's just what it is. <laughs> Y'all can't tell? <laughs> Y'all can't tell? Include all this too. I said I was gone. Now ask that, ask that again. Who's Penny or who's Shaq? I'm Penny. He's Shaq. Y'all can't tell? I be dumb. <laughs> <laughs> who was right? Who was right? Who said? Right. Yep. Uh, That's the play right there, though. Right. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most of it. Everything was true up until us getting robbed. Everything, <laughs> everything was true up until that. Like, 
Y'all should know niggas smarter than that now. But it was a good story overall, though. Everything happened, though. All the other shit he rapped about, all of that happened. We just did a little twist to it to make it interesting for everybody. But that happened in L.A. It was actually my birthday weekend. We was out there having a ball the whole weekend. Nothing but dogs. That shit happened, though. <laughs> Man, I got, a, I got a tape coming. The whole thing produced by DTB, my first tape. That motherfucker going crazy. I ain't got no set date on the check though, but it's on the way. I ain't even got no name for it. I just been going in there straight working. Straight working, I just got tracks. I ain't got no name for it, no date, no nothing, but it's coming real soon. Y'all could be expecting that. <laughs>